It's February 9th, and the goldfinch pause seems to have begun. We had up to a half dozen goldfinches at our feeder for the last couple weeks, and today there has only been one. And I've been, I've known this is coming because it happens every year. What happens is the American goldfinches build up, build up at feeders over the winter, and then about midwinter in the first or second week of February when hardwood trees start to bud out new leaves, the goldfinches take off from feeders. People think that they've migrated. And so they typically start, people start to bring their feeders down and we always tell them, no, don't do it because they're coming back. Well, what happens is goldfinches leave feeders when the hardwood trees start to bud out and uh, they eat those fresh, soft, uh, leafy greens for a little while and then they come back to feeders and they come back with a vengeance. They're in molt and they're getting ready for their migration so they eat like crazy. Um, so I'm going to use eBird to actually show you the goldfinch pause graphically and the way that I'm going to do that is I'm going to go back into explore data. By the way we're at ebird.org. Click on explore data then go to bar charts. We're going to select a region. We're in the right country. We go down the state list of Florida. Then we're going to select a subregion in Florida and I'm going to go by counties. Click continue. Then it'll populate our list of counties that are available to us to search from. Alachua is the one I'm in. I'm going to click Alachua and then continue. There is our list of species. In order to find the goldfinch real quickly, you could scroll all the way to the bottom because that's where it is taxonomically, but I could also hit Control F, type in goldfinch, hit enter, and it takes me right to American goldfinch. I'll click on the name American goldfinch, and there's our data. Now I'm going to change the way that the data is represented here so that we're looking at the abundance chart because in the abundance chart, it shows the goldfinch pause, which is right here. Now remember that when you take your cursor and put it on different points in this graph, it'll show you dates. So look at here, so we're going into January. Now things peak in early uh, February. That's February 8th right there. And then look what happens in between February 8th. There's a point right here somewhere. Where are you? February 15th, we're declining pretty rapidly. And we almost bottom out here in February February 22nd. So this is the goldfinch pause. Now notice February 8th, there's a peak. Today is February 9th. My goldfinches have taken off. Most of you are probably in here as well. Now what happens is after they eat for a few weeks or a month, sometimes a little bit more than a month, out there in the hardwood forests, they come back. And when they come back, they have begun their molt and they're also gearing up for migration. This is when they tend to eat a lot of Niger. Uh, throughout the rest of the season here, from early February, certainly in December, and into the early part of February, they seem to be as interested in oil sunflower as they are in Niger. And most people have switched over to oil sunflower because it's so much less expensive and it works just as well. But here, this is when the goldfinches are really hitting the Niger. Now, in you see here we're at this data point. This is historical data point of March 22nd, and then during the late latter part of March and into early Feb, into early April, that's when migration has begun. So this steep decline right here is migration.